Hi, I'm Lisa Murray for Creativity Lab and welcome to businessalchemy.tv. What's our topic for today? We're going to talk about one of these things that most business owners have a problem with, not enough time. And we're going to actually talk about how to find more time because here's the funny thing, we all think we have no time, but actually when you really look at it, it's just not true. It's more that we're kind of telling ourselves a little porky pie and we're not really looking at what we use our time for. So the first thing to look at here is, okay, if I stop lying to myself and saying I've got no time, what are the choices I'm making that are creating this sort of energy? And if you start to really look at, well, what, you know, like for me, when I go on Facebook and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got no time. I'm like, oh, so what if I went on Facebook and then actually asked, well, is this the best use of my time? Is this the thing that's going to create the most right now? Sometimes it will be, often it won't be. So literally we have to actually take back our choice. We have to know that we have the choice of how we use our time and we have to begin to own that choice. If we become much more present with ourselves in every moment, we will soon see when we're just wildly scrolling and when we're actually creating something new. So the second thing I do to bring back more time is that I have a list of things that I can multitask. So for example, if I'm listening to a podcast or a telecall or you know, watch, when I say watching a video, I don't often watch videos, I tend to listen to them more than watch them. I have a list of things I can do at the same time. So that might be making images in Canva or painting my fingernails or, you know, there's all these things that I can do at the same time. So it's literally this thing of what I call practical multitasking because a lot of people think multitasking is just trying to do everything at once and that doesn't work very well. But practical multitasking can when you're using two different sets of things like your ears and your hands, for example. Okay, the next thing to look at is to stop doing the unnecessary. And you know, this is really interesting because when I first started in business, I looked at how business was run and so much of it seemed insane to me. And you know, coming from corporate and seeing all of the rules and the regulations and the systems and the processes, that just seem to take up time and not really actually create much. So one of the things you can do is a little audit on your business where you go through and go, well, why are we doing this? Is there a good reason for this? Is it just out of habit? And actually just quitting doing all those unnecessary things. Because when you do that, all of a sudden you're gonna have more time to do the things you really wanna do. Now, the other thing is there will be some things that you're doing that are huge time sucks that you're not even that good at, okay? You wanna outsource those things. You literally wanna go, okay, I'm not that great at this. There is someone out there who can do this faster and better than I can. And once you look at that, then you start to go, okay, so where is that person? And you ask for them to show up. Now, I've done this even at times when I really didn't have the cash flow to do it. And what I've noticed is whenever I choose that, I always end up having the space to create new ideas, which creates more cash flow, which then pays for the person. So that's one way to look at it, is to just go, okay, I'm totally having a different reality here. And you know, if most of your business is not play, if it's not fun, then that's actually where you need to look at. What is not fun for you? Because they're the things that are actually sapping your time and sapping your energy. And actually what I tend to look at is energy management rather than time management a lot of the time. And so when you actually play more, you actually allow everything to show up faster because you're doing it in a more joyful way. And you're also, creating a different space where time isn't the thing that you're focused on. You're actually focused on creating the outcome or the result that is more in tune with where you're going with your business. So it's like if you didn't make time relevant, what could you choose? And the question for today, besides that one I just gave you, notice how sneaky I was, was what energy, space and consciousness can I and my body be to create beyond time with total ease. Because we all get into those times of flow where literally time feels like it has stopped. And when you ask you and your body to be in that energy more, you're gonna find that you create a lot more with a lot less struggle. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Lisa Murray from Creativity Lab. This is businessalchemy.tv.